In this video, I will be using cross multiplication to solve how many milligrams of medication a patient should receive. So if you recall from the previous module page, I know the patient needs to receive 20 milligrams of medication for every one kilogram. I'm going to write that down. That is the ratio of milligrams to kilograms that must be consistent across all other equivalent ratios. We know that that is the relationship between milligrams and kilograms for this patient. We're going to use this ratio in your knowledge of proportion relationships to calculate the milligrams the patient should receive if she weighs 45 kilograms. So I know that the patient weighs 45 kilograms, so I'm going to use that information to begin writing another ratio where instead of having one kilogram in the denominator, I now have 45 kilograms. Now, in the previous module page, I showed how we can use our knowledge and, and reasoning, knowing what we know about proportional relationships, knowing that there's an invariant multiplicative factor between milligrams and kilograms that stays constant throughout all other equivalent ratios. And we also saw how we might be able to use that co-varying nature, knowing that the kilograms is going to be increasing by the same factor as the milligrams. So... What we can also use, and this is typically what students are most familiar with, is the idea of cross-multiplication. That tells us if we know that two ratios are equivalent to one another, A over B equal to C over D, what we know is that if we were to cross-multiply, if we were to take the factors of A and multiply it by D, that's going to give us a product. And if we take B times C, these two products here are going to be equivalent. This is going to be true for all equi uh, equivalent ratios. For all equal ratios, this statement right here is going to be true. Why is that helpful? Well, it can help us. We can use that fact to solve for an unknown. So we have an unknown amount here. Let's call it x. You could also use y, or you could also use z. We're just using a variable there. I I'm going to choose to use x. I know that if 20 over 1 is equivalent to some other relationship here of x over 45, I can solve for that unknown by multiplying 20 times 45, and I can set that equal to 1 times x. Now this is just going to be a one variable equation here, and if I look on the right side, 1 times x is just x. If I look on the left side, oh, I see I made a, a sh real mistake there. This should be 45, not 40, excuse me. 20 times 45 is 900. x is equal to 900, so I can cross this out. That is the missing quantity. 900 milligrams is the missing quantity. Notice I get the same thing that I got when I considered the covariant nature within, you know, the milligrams and kilograms within each, and also when I looked at the covarying nature, so what the kilograms increased by, that was also going to increase, the milligrams was going to increase by that same factor. So cross multiplication is another way, and probably the one that students are most comfortable with or have seen previously uh, in other courses. You are welcome to, to use any of these. I, I tend to find that the ones that are more informal tend to help, you know, thinking about the invariant and covariant nature, but cross-multiplication works as well.